What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, I have been trying to get my hands on this knife for a minute. They are hard to come by. Uh, it's not even the price. I mean, they're jacked up a little bit, but they're just hard to find. I uh, figured out why once I got them. Uh, still didn't find the variant I want. I wanted the frag or the shockwave, but man, it is a feat to try to get one of these. So these are the McNeese um, Mac 2 and the Mac 2 3.5. I'll start with the Mac 2. So this one I found on eBay advertised to be, you know, in really good shape. Uh, and you could tell it was being sold by someone that wasn't a knife guy. Essentially, our terms like new in box. Well, there was a box, but it was far from new. I mean, you can see the scales are pretty scuffed up and someone had done a butcher sharpening job on it. I cleaned it up pretty good, but I didn't want to take off all the metal. I got it where it's decent. Uh, I could get it all the way out, but man, it just ain't no sense in taking that much metal off. It mainly just, it just affected the tip, but you know, it's, it's a decent knife now. Um, this knife, as you've probably seen in other reviews, is smaller than it looks in pictures. Uh, but I will say you can get a four finger grip. I have large, extra large glove hands and I can get a four finger grip on this knife. Th this knife, I, th I believe is specifically made for or, or designed for people who live in areas that have a three inch or less rule. Right, and if and that's the case, this is a fantastic knife for you. I, on top of that, I have a little bit of a thing for smaller knives. I really like small knives. One of my favorite Medfords is their smallest knife, uh, the Dress Marauder. That thing is tiny, it's smaller than this. Because I like to carry two knives, one a little bit smaller, and sometimes I carry two knives that are the same size, but one a little bit smaller, one a little bit bigger. This knife, on the other hand, should be called the Mac 2 Perfect because this is the perfect size knife. The ergos on this thing are ridiculous. They're killer. The stone wash on here is beautiful. I mean, it it, it could be a little bit nicer, but I really like I really like polished stone wash. Uh, I like it when it's a little bit more of a shine, but they did a great job. There is a reason why people are chasing these knives because they're great knives. They're made in the USA. They're really made in the USA. They're not assembled in the USA or any of that. They're, they're, they're made in the USA knives all the way around. Um, the only, one of the only things that I would take an issue with is the threading your screws into titanium. Now, <clears throat> that could be a catastrophic deal, but how many times have you heard about it happening? It hasn't. So I, I doubt I doubt it'll be an issue, but if it is an issue, it's pretty catastrophic. You're gonna have to replace the whole scale. When you could have just used Chicago screws or something like that and, and never had to worry about it. But you know, it is what it is. It works and it'll probably never be an issue. The action on this thing is just stupid. I mean, it, it's killer. I mean, it talk about drop shut. It's the definition of drop shut. I, I haven't even buttered this thing up. This was this was secondhand as well, just in you know better shape than that one. Uh, I haven't buttered it up. I haven't taken it apart. <clears throat> Most of my knives I take them apart right when I get them, but I haven't. The action's so great on this. I just I don't need to. I don't take knives apart just to just to take them apart. Um, <clears throat> there's no uh, over travel stop, which in my opinion is not needed on any knife unless it's an integral. I think it's more of a gimmick. Uh, it's actually a pain for me because a lot of my knives I get the lock bar is too stiff on it and I, I like to loosen it up. Well, I gotta go take the lock bar, insert all that stuff off. This way I can just pull the scale off and put it where I want it and put it back together. Uh, there's some knives, man, the D10 is so stiff on them. They're just miserable. Uh, <clears throat> this one is definitely not that. These knives are butter. So let's look at them up against some other knives. This is a knife. Pretty much everybody knows. Benchmade bug out. And you can see the 3.5 is just a little bit bigger. And then the three is quite a bit smaller. <clears throat> Let's see, 
we've got a uh, all right let's do a damn designs knife a lot of people know those now this one just came in today with a whole lot of giveaway knives so like I said I have extra large gloved hands and this gives you a pretty good idea about how that thing fits in hand and even though I'm looking at it in the video it even looks bigger than it really is in hand uh, when a knife is you see how much shorter these knives are that's not very much what is that an inch but an inch length makes for a lot smaller knife in the hand but like I said four finger grip still works still serves its purpose uh no uh lock bar stabilizer and did i say lock bar stabilizer i meant over travel stop if i didn't over travel stop is what's not needed the lock bar stabilizer uh is not mandatory if you can get your lock geometry right these guys do it right there's no issue of lock stick or anything like that uh, and if you do that right you just don't need it, it it's kind of a cheat uh it's, it's kind of a cheat to where if you don't get your geometry just right, you can put that uh, lock bar stabilizer in there and not have a problem. All right, let's see. So I'm a huge fan of thumb stud knives. I just, that's my favorite action. Uh, that and the thumb hole. Uh, I, I've grown to like some flippers, like my Shirogorov knives. Oh, I just fell in love with them. They're, I'm not a big fan of flippers, but they're just so great. I fell in love with them, so so I deal with it. But but thumb stud ni knives are near and dear to my heart. So, uh, the main reason for this video, you've seen several um, several reviews on these knives. The main reason for this video is one to see the two side by side, and two to answer the question: Do these knives meet up to the hype that they're getting? Absolutely, in my opinion, they do. I mean, when you got a, an American-made simplistic knife that functions the way this knife does, it's built solid as it's gonna get. Action's killer. You got two different versions to meet, two different versions to meet everybody's needs. Absolutely. I believe they're worth the price they're asking. I believe the secondary price is worth it. It obviously is, because the second they get posted in my group, they're gone. Uh, I had to chase these down. So, and you can see they're not the best versions of it. They're both used knives. I'm still looking for that frag pattern, or they have one that's a uh, uh, shockwave or something like that. I'd like to have that one. Uh, but I'm really pleased to have these. And uh, the guy that sold me this on eBay discounted it pretty good for the damage. So that was that was kind of him, and I got a decent deal on this one. So. Anyway, guys, that is the McNeese Mac 2 3.5 and the Mac 2. And they're both in 20 CV, by the way. Uh, they do have a version, I believe, of this one in Magna Cut. So that would be cool to have as well. And their packaging is super awesome. So, And they come with this billet aluminum authenticity card. So, guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.